Hey girlies, as you can see, your girl is looking super glam. And as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be installing a beautiful 26 inch bombshell, bombshell that is body wave unit from Arabella, you guys. So when I first received the wig, I was so amped to do a ball cap method one, but two, I wanted to put some popping freaking layers in this 26 inch unit. I know their density is super nice on Arabella units, so I knew for a fact I was going to get exactly what I was looking for after layering the hair. I wanted it to be like very just big and voluminous and luscious and just really, really bomb. So as you can see, I'm starting at the back of my neck and I'm giving myself a blunt cut girl, like trying to make sure it's giving blunt, but also angle cut, if that makes sense. I'm trash at explaining what I'm doing when it comes to layers. So I'm going to the top part and this is what I'm going to be gauging at like how I want my layers to fall. So this is basically my fringe. And then I'm working towards the right and to the left of that, making sure I angle each piece. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, you can kind of see what I'm doing in this video. And I, when I say was in love with the cut, as you can see, look at how it's falling, girl. Like, you have to do this when your hair is wet or you're not going to get the same results. You're kind of not going to see, like, where you're going and what, like, ha having, like, a rhyme and reason is what you definitely need when you're cutting your hair. You can't just be cutting it all crazy. And um, I wanted it to look like a professional has done it. So that's basically what I have done here. Took my time, added the layers, and it's giving exactly what it needs to get. So, once I kind of get the gist of how I want the layers to be, I decided to pop on the wig maybe a week later. Um, I did feel like I needed to pluck at the front a little bit more once I popped it on again, but we're gonna fix that in a minute. So as you can see, I already had like my ball cap going on, girl. And I had tried this product for the first time and I really liked it for the ball cap. It's the ORS wig gel and I realized immediately I messed up I didn't remove my makeup completely and then I put this gel on top of my wig cap so guess what it's going to do it's going to start lifting soon so that's why I'm looking a little crazy right here but I ended up just trying to speed the process up as fast as I could so it didn't roll up too too much on me because I was not about to redo this whole situation. So once the gel got tacky enough, I just placed this beautiful HD lace on top and I was in love with the quality, you guys. I was like, oh my God, I have to tell the girls. I have to let y'all know. So not only is their hair amazing, the lace is bomb.com. As you can see, it just melts right in. I do need to let you guys know that this was almost, I think I said a week later, but I ended up cutting the hair a little bit more because the 26 inches was just really strong and like aggressive in these hot months that we were in in Atlanta. So I ended up cutting it a lot shorter. <laughs> I told y'all if we was gonna fix her up we was not gonna be walking around looking crazy um but you can see that that lace is melted if the ball cap wasn't trying to be very clocky and shady this day y'all will be y'all will be able to tell how amazing the quality of the lace is even more because y'all can still see it trust me but anyway i'm just gonna go in and pluck a little bit more because it's definitely necessary and just take your time Alright, so we're about to get to my favorite part, which is curling. I'm using my T3 curling iron from Ulta. Love this curling iron. It definitely makes your hair look fabulous and super, super long lasting curls you will get with this curling iron. I also added some pin curls since I was going for that voluminous look. 
and the hair may look a little bit shorter but honestly you guys when it falls you're going to see the hair is still about 24 inches but so which means i cut about two inches off but it looks so freaking good now that it's layered and it just looks really nice and i let the i let the hair cool off before i took the pins out so it just turned out so nice you guys and yeah i'm gonna link everything you need to know about arabella down in the description box below because I feel like this is one that you need to have in the stash, okay? They did their big one with this one. They have amazing deals going on, you guys. So make sure you take advantage of it. I'm not lying, okay? It might be a discount code down there. Maybe. Just make sure you look. <laughs> make sure you look. But yeah, we're getting almost closer to the top. And I'm just starting to curl away from my face. So these curls can fall really, really bomb. girly so once we finish the last curl i swear it feels like a never-ending process but the results are so worth it i added my tresemme holding spray this is the four max hold and then i added the garnier i want to say it's the dry shampoo it smells so good i think it's the watermelon one i removed the elastic band and then i added a little bit of serum as well as some holding spray just to ensure that you know we get away some of that hairspray residue as well as holding it back down after putting the oil on there and I used the back of my tweezers to do that. I took the pins down, added some more hairspray and raked through the hair and as you can see that baby is layered up okay. We're going to loosen her up as much as possible but I'm going to go in and create my little baby hairs and you guys are going to see the hair come to life. I I added the wig grip gel from ORS to the baby hairs just to ensure that they weren't going anywhere on me because I needed to make sure these babies stayed in place so this ball cap method so the ball cap wouldn't be clocked underneath the wig but this is the final results you guys once the gel loosened up I did comb the edges out because I felt like they was too harsh but as you can see the hair is still super long you may have thought I chopped it up a lot, but it's it's about 24 inches, like I said, and it just looks so good. As you can see, I just loosened up those baby hairs, and it's giving bombshell goddess all of our Bella information down below, you guys. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all in my next one. Let me know if you love it. Let me know if you love it. The quality is chef kiss. Bye, guys.